if you like your leaders to be vulnerable, Paul <laughs> is vulnerable. He really expresses the challenges that he has, and you can feel how much he loves those that he's talking to. So let's just a quick look in 6, chapter 6, sort of starting in verse 4, he talks about the the manner of ministry, you might say. Ministers of God in much patience, in afflictions, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned. This sounds a little similar to something that the Lord is going to reveal yeah. through Joseph Smith as well, and maybe yeah. we'll talk about that later. Now, skip forward to verse 11. And I just love what he does here. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. And, and there's two things probably going on there. Our mouth is expressing love, but also there's times when it has to express truth. And mm -hmm. that there, there's, there really are some standards uh, of, for being a Christian, a follower of Christ. Now, let's just move over one other thing, just two lines. But listen to how powerful this is. And isn't this what we want from our church leaders, but from all those that sort of interact with us and lead? I rejoice, therefore, I have confidence in you in all things, right? Yeah. So beautiful for Paul to model what a church, how a church leader would interact.